Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I'm back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do the review of this Ruger LCP. Yes, the very popular Ruger LCP. Wanted to do the review on this for a while. Chambered in 380 auto. The barrel only 2.7 inches, as small as it can get. I mean, look how tiny it is. Now, if you want something to to be able to conceal carry as easily as possible, as unnoticeable as possible without any weight, without any exercise, I mean, this is pretty much the size of the wallet. Very impressive. Now, 2.7 inch barrel raises the question. How good does it handle the 380 Auto? Well, let's find out. Let's do some shooting. Now, the mag capacity here, six. And as you can see, not on, no, not on the other, only on one side, we have it nicely numbered. Let's put five rounds through it, see how it can uh, handle. Now, of course, of course, for a lot of you, wow, this is really easy to load this magazine. This is a really good magazine. I like it a lot. I mean, it's super easy. Um, for a lot of people, only six rounds, six plus one in the chamber, might seem like it's not enough, but here's the thing. If you don't carry your firearm because it is too big, because it's too bulky, it's too heavy, it's hard to conceal, and, and you will carry this one because it's light, it's, it's small, it's very easy to conceal, it's better to have something than nothing at the end of the day. So keep that in mind. So, 380 Auto. Personally, I'm a fan of that round. I think it's good. Um, uh, in fact, a lot of uh, a lot of compact micro guns that you will find, they are most of the time chambered in 380 Auto. So, let's do some shooting. See what it can do. <laughs> Practically no grip here without the magazine in. And with the magazine in, your grip is only enough for uh, two fingers. Alright, so no grip, only 2.7 inches barrel. Yeah, let's see what it can do. Very easy to write the slide. I will try to hit, I'll try to hit the top orange over there. Why not? Why not? Alright, 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 alright. Get a better grip here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As you would imagine, as you would imagine, this uh, Ruger LCP is definitely on the jumpier side. So if you're considering it, make sure that you practice with it often enough to get used to that jumpiness because 380 auto is fairly powerful round for a 2.7 inch barrel. Uh, now the slide is on the tighter side, not too tight compared to a lot of other guns. However, it is on the tighter side, which they had to make because obviously they wanted to make sure that it can, it has enough of that resistance to handle uh, that recoil from uh, 380 Auto. But let's talk about the grip. The grip. This is all the grip that you get. Now there are some serrations on the back which you don't really notice that much and there are the same on the front uh, as well. A little bit different pattern. Now let me get it locked back and I'll show you. Here's the front. Uh, I think overall the aggression on the grip is pretty good. Uh, it's just that there isn't much of that grip. Your, your pinky will be hanging out in the air. So make sure you practice that grip pretty good. Um, the slide itself, like I said, there are some serrations in the back, nothing on the front. Uh, it is fairly easy to rack, although the spring does feel on the tighter side. The mag release is not ambidextrous. The slide release is not ambidextrous and uh, you probably already noticed that there isn't really any safety in here. No, no uh, thumb safety. So um, if that's what you're looking for in a gun, keep that in mind. 
Uh, let's talk about the trigger. I do like the trigger overall. As you can see, you have about three and a half inches of uh, very safe, very familiar treble. And then after that, you have probably about a millimeter and a half, two millimeters of kind of, you know, it's going to break next. So let's see if it will. Nope. There are three more millimeters of another unsure treble and then a break. So two trebles. I kind of wish that there was just one, but considering, considering for people who want to carry this with one in the chamber, um, considering that it doesn't have any kind of safety, any thumb safety, I think the trigger is pretty good um, for those people to keep in mind as additional, not additional, but as a safety feature, right? Uh, so it doesn't accidentally go off. Let's talk about the sides because the sides are here, here, not are here, they are obviously here, but the sides here are fairly, I wouldn't say unique, they're very similar to a Caltech uh, micro pistol. Uh, fairly same system, as you can see, it's just a three post side. Um, it's not hard to hit the target to be pretty good with the side. However, you do need to practice with it to kind of understand where, where you are aiming. Uh, one thing as a precaution I, wanna, I wanted to mention here is that on this firearm, make sure that you're careful, very, very careful with this side of the slide right here because this is extremely, extremely sharp. Uh, honestly, if this was my pistol, I probably would have filed it. But if you are gripping like this, which I do see a lot of people do, please don't do it anywhere, especially here, because you will hurt yourself with how sharp the slide is. All right, let's do uh, five more rounds through this pistol and uh, we will try to come up with some more or less reasonable conclusion. Uh, again, I love, I love how easy it is to load. The magazine is great. The spring is so nice and so soft. Um, you noticed probably that it did not lock back on the last round in uh, my previous. Um, I'm not sure if it's the, s the design feature, if it's supposed to be like that. Uh, but let's see if it does this time. All right, let's try to... Let's try to hit those flappy pedals over there. Cause uh, if I can't hit them with this, considering how jumpy it is, yeah, might not be that bad after all. All right, so let's see if we can get it. Only one out of five. I definitely do need more practice with this particular gun. <laughs> and, and it did not lag back on the last round once again, which I'll have to see if it's a design feature for this or if it's uh, some sort of tiny malfunction going on here. Overall, overall, I think it is a pretty good option. Like I said in the very beginning, uh, for people that don't carry just because they feel like it's guns are too bulky and it's too hard, it's hard to conceal them, stuff like that. I think this is a good option for those people. Um, if you are getting it, however, obviously you will have the benefit of a tiny pistol that is small, very, very compact, very, very lightweight, very easy to conceal. But make sure that you take it on the range regularly and practice. So. Ruger LCP, hopefully this was a helpful review. Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Firearms of America. See you guys in the next video.